in the Balanced Youth communities around the world, we're really learning to live a life of powerful self-leadership, where our lives start to become infused for the benefit of all. When I first came to the training, I had no idea about benefit to all. You know, I just came to the training looking for ways to clear my mind, to ease the anxiety, to maybe have more positive states. So I didn't really know so much about being a benefit to all. But what, what we really start to find when we rely on open intelligence, this comprehensive intelligence that contains and includes all data, is that by relying on open intelligence, we find that every moment is dedicated to the benefit of all. And it just becomes more and more obvious how everything about our life is actually contributing to that. So if you're interested in being a benefit to all, uh, that's really amazing. And even if you don't think you are, that will just naturally become apparent to you. In my own case, I, I see how the desire to be of benefit to myself and those around me, it was very limited. It was only to a small group of people. I just had no concept of how I could contribute to life in a way that would reach many people. And um, very quickly that started opening up just by spending time with the Balanced View communities around the world. I could see how all of us together, just by acknowledging open intelligence, choosing to emphasize open intelligence rather than emphasizing all of our data, all of our thoughts, emotions, sensations, we open up to our powerful, beneficial nature that is within all of the data. So when each person here takes responsibility for their data and they start to see that they're living a life of benefit, it's very easily spread around the world. When you start to recognize the immediate benefit in yourself, you, it cannot help but be, be shared with those around you. So, um, you know, through the website, through our meetings all around the, the world, we have communities in many places, and the community is inexhaustibly growing. It, it just it shows us how, you know, our contribution matters. And I can see that my life, is, it's, it's very normal. It's more normal than ever. When I came to the training, I had like a, a list, a laundry list or a to-do list of all the things that I wanted to change about myself or to uh, all these things I wanted to understand about myself. Why, why do I come up against a glass ceiling when it comes to relationship? Or how come I have all of this conventional education, how come I cannot contribute this in the way that feels utterly satisfying to me? You know, I'm trying to please everyone else around me and their systems. If I go by their methods, how come it does not feel satisfactory to me? Why do I always feel this sense of seeking? And, uh, you know, other things like depression. Why do I feel depressed on some days and not on other days? You know, why, yeah, why do I feel depressed when I've ate all the right things? I've done all the right exercise. I've done all the proper breathing techniques. <laughs> I've spent time with the people who make me happy, and yet I'm still depressed. What, how did that equation fail? So then I felt like, well, maybe there's more parts of the equation that I've missed, or maybe I, you know, so I had to constantly micromanage all of these little aspects of my life in order to feel fulfilled. And uh, what else? Well, there's just so many things that have changed. I mean, I, it's hard to remember what it was all like, but if I sat down and really reflected, I could write a, a book about it. But through relying on open intelligence, you've all been introduced to open intelligence. When you stop thinking and you identify what is looking through your eyes, that open intelligence that is clear, like a clear sky, that is present no matter what datum, thought, emotion, sensations you experience. Open intelligence is always clear, stable, 
alert and ready for action. And it's easeful. So by identifying this in short moments, many times, not complicating it, please do not complicate it. Keep it simple. When you acknowledge open intelligence for short moments many times, we start to see that all of those things that we, the, the list of things that we thought we wanted to change about ourselves, they just start to naturally self-release because we stop giving them all of the attention. So I, my depression and my, my, all the list of things why I didn't feel, like why I felt depressed, I started letting all of that be as it is, emphasizing open intelligence. Seeing I have a choice of whether or not I want to emphasize, is it the diet? Is it the exercise? Is it the breathing? Is it the people? Or is it just something fundamentally wrong with me? I chose to stop indulging in all of that story. And I stopped avoiding it. I just let it come up in my experience and be as it is. And I didn't try to run away from it or replace it with anything more positive. And that's when I started to see the immediate benefits of short moments repeated many times. My depression has vanished forever. It doesn't mean I don't wake up on certain days and there might be sensations that I feel a bit low of energy or the digestion stopped working completely. And so all these random things that I don't attribute that to anything called depression any longer. It's just a fleeting appearance in my open intelligence. So that completely resolved for me. And so many other things that I label as negative. And the way that I interacted with people, wanting confirmation from people, seeking confirmation for me to have a good day, also naturally started to subside. Or I wasn't looking for confirmation from another person to ensure my well-being or to ensure that I'm okay as I am. I naturally started to see I am actually okay as I am regardless of my data. And at the same time, it's still nice when somebody compliments you or you experience something nice and that might make your day. That's all included. But I started to see I don't need to hold on to any positive experiences now, like the days that I, I ate the right things, did the right exercise, did all the right breathing, did all the right relationship things, and then I was really happy. No needing to hold on to that as the thing that made it right for me. Because we never know what to expect. You know, doing all that you feel happy and then you receive a phone call that somebody close to you is, has contracted a serious illness. And then boom! Where is that pleasant that made my day feeling there? So again, coming back to short moments, letting all of that be as it is seeing that open intelligence is completely unaffected by all the positive stuff that just happened and now this really hard news. But also, in Balanced View, there's the four mainstays, so it's the practice that I mentioned. But then there's the training media help, to help resolve all of my negativity. Resolving just means you know how the planets and stars are visible in the night sky and then when the sun rises, you can't see them any longer. It doesn't mean they're not there, you just can't see them. So all the negative data streams, they just start to become less and less noticed. Initially, they become more like old and dear friends, not so scary. But at some point, you see they're just nothing but the dynamic beneficial energy of open intelligence. So for me, resolving these things that were really distracting in my life, I relied so much on the trainings, and I still do. Reading the books, listening to the talks, spending time in the training setting. And it's not like we need to go and dig around, stir up the pot, looking for all of the negative things about ourselves. They'll just naturally arise in your experience. You know, when we go through the empowerments, we do have a very thorough and comprehensive look <coughs> at all of our belief systems, all of our assumptions, whether they're positive, negative, or neutral. So in the, empower the Twelve Empowerments, we really take a good look at those. But now there's no more work to be done with them, though. We don't have to work on any of these things that we think are negative. 
You know, this, it's an effortless process of once they're acknowledged, that's fine. They self-release like a mist in the air self-releases. No effort required. And then if it keeps coming back, like those reoccurring sticky data streams that were like, I just really want this one to go away. That's a perfect opportunity to rely on the trainer. Seeking support from a trainer, qualified trainer of Balance View, who has really tested out the Four Mainstays, who knows practical pith instructions that will help you in seeing that your data are nothing but the shining forth of open intelligence. Open intelligence shines forth its own beneficial data. Data shine forth from the purity of open intelligence. Purity meaning free of anything of a different kind. So the trainer is really helpful in illuminating this in your direct experience. You don't need to dig around and look for them. They'll just, some days they're there and other days they're not. And then by spending time with the fourth mainstay of the community, you know, lots can also come up there because this is a community of people who are choosing to let data be as they are and we, we experience things like vulnerability, we experience a whole array of positive, negative and neutral, but we choose to allow it to be as it is rather than rely on our old methods of indulging, avoiding or replacing. So in the community setting, lots of things will be revealed. You know, how we're speaking to people will we'll realize, wow, maybe I'm not using my speech in the most beneficial way. You know, that's something I recognized. Recognized I was using my speech in a way that was disempowering. Not intentionally, but that's just something I'd learned in the communities that I'd spent time with. You know, we used to either just sarcastically disrespect each other and put each other down as a, a way of trying to connect, but never really connecting. So you might start to notice this and, you know, you, just asking yourself, how would I want to use my speech? What would be of most benefit to myself and the other person if I just blurt out all the things that I don't like about them or all the things that they're doing wrong, would that be of most benefit? Of course we can look around and see many problems in the world and we definitely want people to know that something needs to happen and in imbalance view we go right to the solution. We go right to the solution. We know what the problems are. You don't have to dig up more problems. They're evident. They're as clear as day. But like I was saying, all the data are the shining forth of open intelligence. We shift the focus from excessive negativity to the wide open balanced skillful perception of open intelligence. And that is our power to know what's looking through our eyes. So short moments of resting deeply is very helpful when you feel a lot of affliction. Resting deeply, just letting everything be as it is. Knowing that if you're relying on the Four Mainstays, you have all the support to outshine that data stream. The data stream of a personal identity or the datum of a person. That too, open intelligence shining forth. When we die, we're just open intelligence. When we're born, we are open intelligence. When we live, we are open intelligence. When we die, we are open intelligence. This is just, we have not been showed this, taught this from a young age. If we were, it would just be so ingrained, and it is becoming more and more our direct experience. It's innate. We know who we are when we just relax deeply for a short moment. We know we're not just limited to this body, mind, heart complex. We know we're much more than that. That's what makes my day. Also seeing millions of people around the world being empowered and knowing this, no longer being a victim. Being a victim of loved ones dying, being a victim of knowing you're going to die. We become fearless in the face of all of these data streams. And at the same time we experience everything. We can experience the grief, the loss, the sadness, the joy, the bliss, whatever it is. Experience it fully. You know, no need to push anything away. But more and more we become so skillful, clear discernment, 
some really powerful people in this world and then that's what attracts other people to the training. That's what attracts people to their own beneficial nature. 